All right, a friend of mine gave me this plastic box and asked me if there's something I can do with it. And I'm like, I don't know, let's find out. Let's use my ring over here. I'm just gonna drop it like this. I'm gonna flip this box. Okay, now it's just the box. Nothing on top, nothing underneath. It's just the plastic box, the rings, and my powers. So let's try something, shall we? Okay. All right, welcome back to Magic Isn't Real, the place where I try to replicate the claims of the supernatural with my very natural skill. In the hopes that maybe next time you're thinking of buying a $700 telekinesis course, you might, you know, just kind of doubt it a little bit. Maybe don't, don't, don't waste your money yet. Let's see if we can first figure it out if telekinesis even exists. Today, I want to take a moment to thank all of you, all the people that subscribe to the channel, all the people that share my video, all the people that left a comment, that hit the like button. You know what? Even the people who click the dislike button. I'm hoping that you watched the video and you didn't just read the title. But if you watch the video and you're like, you know what? I disagree. Dislike. I'm like, thank you. I, I thank you. What am I going to talk about today? What am I going to do well i thought it is the end of the year so why not just do a little end of the year kind of recap let's see how far we got what have we learned all right so the first video i posted on this channel is a video about a, a guy who calls himself grandmaster wolf and it is not by accident because grandmaster wolf is kind of the first guy who made me cringe so much that the, the the passion was was you know sparked in me i was like i gotta do something when i saw this man posting a video where he claimed that he could cut himself with a knife and then heal the wound with the power of chi which is a video that he removed moved from his page and I'm glad that he did because that's dangerous whether you have disabilities or not that's a dangerous thing to put out there for people to just randomly try it but the worst part is this I am 95% sure that that's a trick because I can see it because I can see the movement I can see the gimmick well I don't see the gimmick but I know how the gimmick works because that's how I did it and if you go watch the video you will see that I've done it beat by beat perfectly and that's the thing that annoys me the most about this man is the fact that like if one thing is a trick then why would I believe anything else? All right, the second video I post on this channel, it was actually a video that was more about frustration. And I have to acknowledge that I'm not the first one doing this. Like magician, great magicians before me have done this. And magician today are still, some of them, are still actually doing this. And the fact that we are still seeing the same method, like for example, breeding. <sighs> doing moving hair, you know, with, with, with your hands, invisible strings, you know, you, you, you name it, magnets. Like the fact that we're seeing the same method and people are still fooled by the idea that this is supernatural, it was just really, really, really frustrating. But not as frustrating as the video after, which is a video about a guy who calls himself telekinesis guru. So this guy has a quite an impressive amount of followers, but in the telekinesis community, yes, there's a telekinesis community. So the people who believe that telekinesis is real, they told me that this guy was a fake. Therefore, I should talk about him, which is mind blowing for me. But I was so excited. The thing that I was not prepared to deal with, his followers are quite, um, I want to say uninged. He's also one of those many guys who wears a mask because he, he needs to keep his identity a secret. Well, he has two stories. One is that he burned his face during pyrokinesis. 
Sure. And the other story is that he needs to keep his identity secret until 50% of the world is going to learn how to do telekinesis. Yeah, sure. Good luck with that. It's funny though, because he needs to keep his identity a secret, but at the same time, he has a YouTube channel as well as a donation page. And I think multiple Facebook pages as well. So sure. Good luck keeping your identity a secret. The next video was actually about aerokinesis. And this one had a whole story. You should go watch it. But basically I was replicating an effect from a guy that calls himself Zephyr. Me and this guy went back and forth. We argue a little bit, then we were okay. Then his master jumped in and accused me of, do- of cyberbullying him. Sure. And then uh, all I can tell you, well, just go watch the video because the story is quite, it's quite long and I don't want to go through the whole thing now. I'm just going to tell you kind of something that's not on the video, which is recently he told me that he was going to stop posting on YouTube and just focus on his Facebook group because he wants to like really become stronger. And uh, this was not that long ago, but I just discovered now that he's selling an ebook. If you want to learn telekinesis from him, you can buy his ebook and uh, please do let me know what happened because I still think that he does not have any telekinetic ability or at least he hasn't proved that he has one. The next video on the list was a video about the sidewheel. I hate the sidewheel and the reason why I hate it is because at the time of that video I was struggling with this. I couldn't figure out why there's so many people who claim that they have bought these classes, these courses, this telekinesis thing and or they've watched a free tutorial on YouTube and they're saying like oh my god I've done it. It works. They're convinced and if they're convinced it means that they are experiencing something. Most of these classes, most of these teachers, they will tell you to start with the side wheel. And the trick is the side wheel will move. Like it moves for no reason. I built one myself and I left it on the table for like hours and at, at random it would just move. A side wheel is what is called like potential energy. So it's an object that's balancing on something. That is potential energy. That is like if you have a rubber band and you stretch it, that's potential energy. At some point it's either, either going to snap or you're going to let it go and, and it's going to hit. That's the same. The side wheel is an object that's balancing. So it's it's there. It's like it's like a it's like a gun and it's cocked. It's ready to go, which means that anything from from a little breeze in the room, from a little thing that if you're breathing from the warmth of your hand next to it can make it move a vibration on the table like anything will make this thing move and if you've been told to sit in front of it and meditate and concentrate on your telekinesis power then yes you will experience that something is happening and i feel like this is how a lot of people in the beginning they actually experience this like telekinesis and then they're convinced thankfully i had a conversation with one of the students they want to stay anonymous so i cannot mention the name um but we, we had a, a couple of emails back and forward and the reason why this person started doubting is because after the side wheel there was no next step this person could not do anything else besides making a side wheel move yes i hate the side wheel because it would it would trick you into thinking that you're doing something but it's actually not next on the list oh my oh my okay this one drove me a little bit insane because this person called tron high they posted a video with this effect with the coin floating inside a plastic you know cup and uh, it really blew my mind i even showed it to magicians friend of mine and they were like wow that's a really good effect and it was the way the coin was floating and uh, i gotta say it, it was a challenge it took me a while to engineer in it and, and a while to like make it work you know what i haven't checked what what, what what they've been up to you know i haven't checked if they post anything new you cannot you cannot be serious i did not just watch that okay so that's actually very 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 disappointing like this literally the floating card is the first gimmick you can buy anyway you don't even have to go to a magic shop do people actually think that this is real telekinesis you are very talented in video editing it's not video editing bro (laughs) nice string yeah pretty much please post a tutorial oh they responded there will be a free basic levitation practice course dude dude Next on the list was a video about hydrokinesis. And actually it was a video about a lot of kinesis. This is kinesis. I don't really have a follow up on the video. The only thing I would say is that I posted a trick. Like I did a magic trick to kind of showcase hydrokinesis. And uh, at the time I thought it was a great trick. Now I'm looking at it and I'm like, oof. not as cool as I thought. But you know what? I, I, I'm I proud of everything that I do. So I'm not going to remove it. I'm going to leave it there. You can go check it out and let me know. In the next video, oh, here's where we encountered uh, Master Centaurus, which is I don't want to say too much because there's a chance that I might do an, a live interview 
with Master Centuries next year on this channel. So this is something that could still happen. So the only thing that I would say is that the reason why I discover Master Centuries is because one of his students came to me and he told me about Telekinesis Guru. He was like, ah, oh, you gotta watch Telekinesis Guru, he's a fake. And then he went, but my master is the real deal. Oh, the next video. <sighs> A lot of people that claim to have disabilities, they keep saying that it's, that it's actually not supernatural. The science explains it. And I was like, where? And that's where I discovered that what I now call the quantum mysticism. Like how, how all these people talk about quantum physics without knowing anything about quantum physics. Have either of you guys ever studied quantum physics? Only to make conversation. All right, the next couple of videos, I'm gonna just put them together just because basically it was another guy selling a, a, another telekinesis course for like a lot of money, again, without really proving if, if he has this ability or not. And again, the sidewheel came back. There's a telekinesis app that basically teaches you how to build a sidewheel and then gives you breathing exercises that you can do in front of the sidewheel so then you can make it move. Like it's both of these videos were yeah, go check them. There's, there's so much fun. In in this one, actually, I do a trick with like a coffee. Like I make coffee grains like bounce all over the place with my energy. And I think that was cool. That was cool to do. And uh, yeah, you should, you should go check it out. Okay, so this next video, it was a video where I was actually on vacation. I went to visit my family in Italy and suddenly someone says, hey, this guy is calling you out. So this was the first video where someone called me out. Not really, actually, because if you watch the video, I'm not really being called out. Like The way he phrased it was wrong. He was like, oh, this magician, it's replicating our tricks so that you can call them fake. I'm like, no, that's not at all what I'm doing. What I'm doing is that I'm replicating the trick to show you that it can be done naturally. One of the things that happened constantly since I started this channel was people asking me to reveal the trick or to post a tutorial. Now you can get all the tutorials on my Patreon page. It took me years to like master some of the stuff and coming up with this idea. And I don't, I don't just want to give it for free. And honestly, if these people can charge for a telekinesis course, I don't see why I shouldn't be able to charge for a magic course, you know? Anyway, in this video though, I, sh I, I gave three different, four, between three to four different reasons why I also don't like revealing the trick, you know, just because I want you to pay to get them, but I had other reasons and you can go check them out. Ironically, I do teach a trick for free on the video just to kind of showcase my style of, you know, how a tutorial from me will look like and what you get if I'm teaching you a trick and also to kind of explain a few points of, it's not that I don't like revealing the trick, is that revealing the trick is not part of what I'm trying to do here. Ooh, next on the list was my first encounter with someone called Ernest Viter, a guy who, again, another guy who wears a mask and he charges a lot of money to teach you how to levitate, to levitate, can you imagine that? But the funniest story about this video is that he gave me a copyright strike and took it down. So this video was down for like, you know, for like a, a month almost because I, I didn't counter and I'm like, I think every every single one of my video falls into fair use. So yeah, it's gonna come back and he did, it did came back. And again, we could have a nice debate. We could have a conversation. We could have, you know, he could have put his powers to the test. Instead, he decided to go to the petty copyright strike to remove the video because he feels uncomfortable with the fact that I'm calling him a fake. All right, this next video is actually one of my favorite of all time. And it kind of sucks that it's one of the one that has the least amount of engagement. It makes me so sad because I put a lot of effort into this video specifically, a lot of effort, and it didn't get the attention that it deserves. So please go check out this video if you can. Like it's very interesting. And speaking of videos that took a lot of effort and a lot of time, this next video, I just, Never again I'm gonna do this. I was sent this documentary called Superhuman the Invisible Made Visible. And I was told this documentary has, you know, evidence of the supernatural. And honestly, I just, I, I was, okay, first of all, I, I feel like the, the word documentary has lost its meaning over the past decades because documentary used to be somewhat reliable. Nowadays, documentary are just basically movies. They're edited fancy. They, they push the narrative so that it's a bit more interesting to watch and they, they don't really care to get proper sources. It's just most documentary. It's pure entertainment at this point. It's not. I don't see any documentary that has come out in the past like 12 years that is actually a reliable source of evidence. So in this video, I'm talking about a channel called Paranormal Spirituality, and honestly, I don't. I don't think this video was necessary. I, I don't think Paranormal Spirituality seems to me like a channel who just wants to entertain. The guy is just playing a character. It's obvious that it's 
fiction. It's obvious that it's edited. It's obvious that it's just for entertainment. Yeah, it doesn't say it directly. And that's the problem that I have. But I feel like they think that they don't have to say it directly because it's obvious. I think somewhere in the channel, they should mention that it is for entertainment. But honestly, they don't. They don't have to. And I feel like I could have spared doing this video also because it's another video that reminds me that I still haven't been able to show you a cool levitation trick and then just breaks me. All right, last two videos that we have done this year. One was called the most epic card trick ever. And honestly, it was just an excuse for me to make content uh, the day that I went and did bungee jumping out of one of the highest bridge you can bungee from uh, here in South Africa. If not in the world, I don't know, it's pretty high. It's like 216 meters and you fall for like 100 meters. And uh, I was there and I just thought, make magic content out of you bungee jumping out of a bridge. So that's what I did with this video. And my latest, latest video, I noticed that people ask me the same questions and people bring up the same arguments over and over and over. So I figured that I could just reply to all of them in one video. So instead of me typing comments, I can just send the link to this video to everybody who keeps asking the same question. I noticed that YouTube gives me this option to actually quickly check which one is the most popular video and I honestly don't know. All right, I'm gonna click on it. Let's see which one is the most popular video. Oh, of course. <laughs> it appears that the three most popular videos on this channel are number one, obviously, Telekinesis Guru. I feel like it's because the people in the Telekinesis community are so excited that I have, you know, debunked him or attacked him. And on the other hand, the people that are his followers are super mad at me. So they come and watch the video so that they can type terrible comments. So it's no wonder that it is the most popular video. I'm actually a little bit curious to see what is Telekinesis Guru up to these days. Let me just quickly, let's, let's just qu quickly, let's just quickly check it. Hello and welcome to another telekinesis video. Well, it's not a real telekinesis video. What's going on with you? Why are you so sad? What's happening? I've been posting for a very long time and you deserve to, to know the reason. Please let it be me. Please let it be me. Tell me that I'm the reason. Tell me that the skeptics are the reason. Please. A while ago, I lost my job. I used to work in a, in a library, not anymore. The reason why I lost my job was, as you guys know, my face is very burned. And in the library, they don't, they don't want to hire someone looking like this. But you were working for them and you always had the face burned. So did the owner of the library suddenly saw you for the first time ever after years that you've been working at it and go like, oh, also, if this is true, you can sue them. They cannot fire you because you don't look good or whatever. I'm pretty, I don't know where you live, but I'm pretty sure that if this story is true, you can definitely go for a lawsuit. They cannot, they cannot fire you because you're ugly. What the hell? Well, this is it. This has been the journey so far. I produced a lot of content. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of myself. Anyway, if you're still here and you're still watching, I, I thank you so much. And please, uh, I need proof that you're still watching. So just type in the comment that you're still watching. Yes, that's. I want the comment to say I'm still watching and I'll know that you are still here watching this video until the very end. Uh, I shall see you next year, which is coming up very soon. And uh, I can tell you that my next video is gonna be about something called Evolve Ministry. And oh boy, in the meantime, I was still trying to post some extra little shorts, little magic stuff. And if you have any idea, let me know. I will love that. In the meantime, this has been Magic Isn't Real. My name is Sebastiano. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Peace out.